2023. Thank y'all all for coming out. I want to thank all the volunteers that came out, the city of Olympia. We got the city's table over here with other black pioneers. Please make sure y'all go ahead and check it out. These are pioneers from the Washington area. This whole park is named after Rebecca Howard, the African-American businesswoman in the 1800s. So learn more about her. And hopefully this space will be designated for honoring our black pioneers, both present and past. When we look at one of America's original sins, the enslavement of people, you know, bringing them forcibly from West Africa to the United States, and that only just a few years ago, we made this into a federal holiday. It says a lot. It says a lot of good, because at one hand, hey, you know, us as a country, us as Americans are coming together and saying, hey, you know, we need to acknowledge this. When we embrace that history, it shows our children and our children's children that, hey, you know, as a people, as a country, we might've made a mistake, but together we move forward and we're creating something very different. to reach out into the air and I want you to grab some of it with your hand and then slowly bring it down to your abdomen, to your center chakra. And then I want you to place your hands on your tummy and then I want you to say out loud, I love my body. Seattle, and we are the number one rated Buffalo soldiers in the nation. We fought in every war that America's ever been in. In fact, the first man ever to die for America in a war was a black man. It wasn't that the African Americans fought harder than the white soldiers. Not even, not even close. We didn't fight harder at all. We fought by a different set of rules, okay? The white soldier could do everything that the soldier right now can do today. And that is, you can retreat. You can regroup. We weren't allowed to retreat, regroup. We had to live, fight, and die right where it started. Where do you stand on community and its inception or its unidentified thing? Are you centered, grounded? Are you grounded and therefore centered? Are you ready to cultivate the foundation, embody the vulnerability required for viable operation and willing to obtain knowledge from others? Who knows that when the smallest bloom falls amongst the smallest stream, amongst them, it's the vibration is colored and healing and travels to the depths of the largest sea.